this video, we take a look at just some of the many great games that you can play on your GPD Win. We cover a mixture of genres from arcade action to role playing games. Here they are in no particular order. Both the original and remastered version of Day of the Tentacle works great on the GPD Win. This point and click adventure game has the perfect blend of story, comedy and puzzle solving as you fix a time travel machine. The three main characters are stuck in different periods of time and you must switch between them to get all back to the present. Despite the original being over 20 years old, it still holds up very well by today's standards with great looking cartoon graphics and voice acted speech. There is always a good excuse to play Half-Life 2, one of the finest story driven first person action adventure games. If you have not played the series before, do check out the first Half-Life as it also works great on the GPD. You play as Gordon Freeman who in Half-Life 2 starts on an alien infested earth and goes on one hell of a journey to try and rescue it back. Then afterwards join the rest of the gaming community potentially waiting forever for Half-Life 3. Geometry Wars is a great pick up and play arcade game ideal for on the bus, train or on the passenger seat. It is a twin stick shooter which is perfect for the dual analogue sticks of the GPD win. Featuring trippy neon graphics and sounds, you must fight off waves of enemy ships who are trying to destroy you. Castle Crashers is a side scrolling hack and slash 2D arcade adventure. The game story is humorous with plenty of laughs during the cutscenes to keep things interesting. There is an easy to follow levelling up system and many additional characters to unlock as you progress. It can be played single player or four player co-op in the story or all out battle in the arena mode. Shadowrun Returns is based on the Shadowrun board and video games. This fantasy world cyberpunk themed game is an isometric turn based strategy game which works very well on the GPD win. You have a choice of races to play and can modify your skills to become more powerful as you progress through the story. There are also plenty of additional missions to download from the Steam Workshop. This game comes highly recommended if you want a game with plenty of replayability. Both Fallout 3 and New Vegas work great on the GPD and together will provide hundreds of hours of playtime as you explore every nook and cranny of the massive playable worlds. And this is not including the many additional content add-ons available from the Steam Workshop. Fallout 3 is my favourite of the series. So grab a Nuka Cola or two and settle in for one of the best RPGs out there. Football with Cars is simple. Rocket League is an action packed sports game that is great fun to play with friends online but you can also play single player against the CPU AI. The game does need a little tweaking in the graphics settings for best performance but once done it works great. Comes highly recommended if you want a quick pick up and play game or an evening's fun playing online with friends. Bastion is an isometric action role playing game with a reactive narrator who follows your every move. The story is excellently written with a few twists and turns that will have the airs on your arms sticking up as the music and narration seamlessly blend with the game. The voice acting is like having Morgan Freeman guiding you through the game. This is one of my personal favourite games on the PC and with over 100 gaming awards it seems like quite a few others enjoy it as well. Just buy this game, you won't regret it. Little Racer Street is a top down racing game which can be played single player against the CPU AI or online multiplayer. It features a variety of tracks and conditions to race on and a large number of vehicles to unlock and drive. The controls work great with the GPD gamepad and it runs at a good speed which is essential for a racing game. Mark of the Ninja is a stealth platform style side scrolling game. The beauty of this game is that it can be played in a number of ways. You can choose to stealthily avoid all the enemies to complete the mission or go all out rampage and dispatch every enemy or just a mixture of both. The stealth mechanics are excellent and if you have been put off by bad stealth in other games be rest assured this game will change your opinion. This game comes highly recommended. We hope that you enjoyed our quick overview of some of the many games that you can play on a GPD win. Please let us know your favourite games that you play on yours. Keep an eye out for more videos of great games to play in the future.